Receiving incoming transmission. This is Idaho Calling.
you by this is Sarah Caldwell. Do you want to speak a little, Sarah? Of a non-toxic 
piece of dead vegetable matter is reason enough to break up a home? And the reason I say shame on Idaho is because you, in the state of Idaho, don't agree with this either. In 2011, the Boise State University public policy polling found that 74% of Idahoans believe that people with serious medical conditions should be left alone and allowed to legally use cannabis medicine. That's three out of four of Idahoans. But in this building, in this building, a majority of the legislature says no, no marijuana legalization, not even if you have multiple sclerosis, not even if your skin's on fire, not even if the trembling and spasticity keeps you awake at night, not even if this puts you in such a deleterious state you can't even be a mother to your children. Hell no, we're not going to support it. And Idaho, I don't believe you feel that way. Do you think this woman should be put in a cage? No! Do you think her children should be taken away from her? No! That's hell no. Hell no! Hell no! Now we can change this in Idaho. And I know that there's people in Idaho that are afraid. They see Oregon and Washington. They see pot parties and rallies. And they worry about the quality of life in Idaho. I understand that. But please understand that the medical marijuana that is being uh, promised here for the state of Idaho is very responsible, very restricted, and would ensure that only the sickest and most disabled Idahoans would be able to take advantage of this medicine and nobody else. Nobody's talking about setting up bong shops on, on State Street. Nobody's talking about having massive pot parties on the lawns. We're talking about a mom who just wants to be able to raise her kids. The thing that really blew my mind before I came out here, I do the news for 420radio.org. We are a 24-hour cannabis community radio station. We're on five days a week. So I cover news stories on marijuana every day. And I saw this story come from Middleton, Idaho on last Tuesday. A mom left her three-year-old and her 10-month-old in the car while she went back inside to grab something. Also in the car was a loaded 45. The three-year-old got a hold of the loaded 45 and shot the 10-month-old. Raise the cheek, which is fine. But did that mother lose her children for child endangerment? No. Somehow, keeping a loaded 45 in your car with your kids alone is merely an accident. But keeping your medicine in your closet locked up, that's child endangerment? That makes no sense. And this is not limited to Idaho. Just last week, I collected five stories of children aged four and younger who managed to get their hands on a loaded weapon and either shot themselves, another child, or an adult. And if the adult killed her, did any of those mothers getting their hands on loaded guns in the span of a week. Not one child endangerment charge. But a mom with multiple sclerosis has some dead vegetable matter in her closet. Boy, those kids are in danger. we got to remove them immediately. Does this make sense to you? No! no. So here's what you do. Get yourself registered to vote. Show up at the march next Saturday. You're not alone. People in 300 cities are doing this same exact march to say it's time to end the stupid war on a plant. There are better ways of dealing with it than locking people up and ruining their families. Show up at the march, register to vote, get involved with CompassionateIdaho.org, sign the petition, make a change, and tell these guys in the legislature they're wrong on medical marijuana. Are you with me? Yeah! Are you with me? Yeah! Let's make a change for Idaho. I'd like to come back and visit my family and not be a criminal someday. Yeah. Thank you. Well, we will stay around and answer any questions. Uh, if any press is here, people would like to get photos or talk to us individually. Thank you for showing up. We appreciate it.